Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Who on God's green earth decided that this suit needed to be replaced? I cannot fathom why one of the biggest fan favorites was turned into a mess of shiny, dull colors and needless lines. Let's look at Spider-Man Homecoming. The entire arc of the movie is that Peter realizes he doesn't need to be an Avenger to be a hero. An Iron Spider suit symbolizes the Avenger that he doesn't need to be. But just imagine how much more impactful the MCU Iron Spider symbolism would have been if it looked like the only Avenger trying to get him to join. Peter walks in, he sees the even more Iron Man-esque suit, he sees his future of being a superhero up in space fighting bug monsters and demons with the rest of the Avengers, and he decides that he doesn't want that. He doesn't want to be Iron Man up there with the other Avengers, he wants to be Spider-Man in New York. But fine, you could argue that Peter shouldn't be Iron Man isn't the arc of Homecoming. But it is in Far From Home. If the suit was comic accurate in this movie, Peter being decked out in the comic Iron Spider would have hit so much harder because it looks so much like Iron Man's suit. People assume he's just gonna be the next Tony Stark, but that's clearly not the case because MCU Iron Spider just looks like a powered up Spider-Man suit and not an Iron Man Spider suit like the one in the comic. Let's take a step back for a second. Let me be clear about who I'm blaming this on. I'm not blaming this on Ryan M, the designer of the suit. I know that he tried to make a comic accurate suit. The execs probably didn't pick that one. They picked this one, and that is what I am blaming. Is the idea that most comic book costumes need to change or be outright removed to make better or more well received movies. Because that idea is the very reason that we have not seen two of Spidey's best costumes on screen. This idea has ruined several Marvel characters' costumes. Wolverine, the most popular X-Man and one of the most well-known superheroes of all time, is stuck wearing a tank top. Come on! That's like, that's like half the reason I haven't even seen these movies, is because like they all look extremely boring. Give me the costume. The second most important thing about a superhero is their costume. And Wolverine's is one of the best fucking superhero costumes I've ever seen. Half of these movies just take them away, or outright make them worse because they're so afraid of these comic designs. I mean, yeah, some of these are bad, but not all of them. Look at Peacemaker. I had no issues taking him seriously when he was crying about killing his dad, even though two seconds ago he was smuggling chrome helmets while wearing a bright red t-shirt and white pants. Let's not skip over Vigilante either. His costume is a prime example of how to correctly adapt source material into real life fabric. In a more recent example, She-Hulk. Not, not her suit, I actually don't mind hers. I'm talking about the Wrecking Crew. This has got to be one of Marvel's worst adaptations. You wanna know one of the only problems I have with this show? These idiots. Not only did they rob them of their costumes, they whitewashed the only black person on the team. The only reason I knew that these losers were the Wrecking Crew was because of their weapons. Would it have been so hard to have these guys look like the Wrecking Crew? This scene is supposed to be funny. If anything, I'd find it more hilarious if Jen dog walked four massive guys with no effort. But let's get back to the Iron Spider suit. What was wrong with this costume? Why was this the costume that needed to be changed? There's nothing wrong with this costume critically. It perfectly balances out its colors, it's incredibly consistent, and it's very clearly supposed to be an Iron Man themed Spider-Man outfit. There's no mistaking it, this is Spider-Man in his Iron Man jammies. But let's stop skipping around the MCU one. Let's finally go over its issues. First off, this costume completely rearranged the color palette of the original Iron Spider. The main reason the OG Iron Spider was as recognizable as an Iron Man Spider-Man suit is because it completely rips the color palette of most of Iron Man's suits. This adaptation of the costume changes the secondary color of the Iron Spider from gold to a dark navy blue, completely removing one of the strongest elements that makes this costume a good matchup, which was the color palette. Now the gold is relegated to being an accent color. So already we removed one of the most important elements of the costume. What else can we remove? 
the simplicity of the original. I understand, to a degree, that adapting a fictional costume into real life means you'll have to add some complexity to a costume. As much as I've trashed on the MCU in the past for their costumes, I understand why you have to turn this into this, even if I'm not happy with the results most of the time. Sometimes, having a direct rip of the costume from the comics can make a hero look silly. I reviewed a costume last week that is literally a comic-accurate Spider-Man outfit, but it looks a little silly because it's ripped right off the comic pages. So I understand the need for some extra seam lines and just lines in general, but this is just way too much. This is not how you add lines to a costume. They should look like muscle shirt lines, not random bullshit all over the costume. Like why? This is the exact issue the homecoming suit had but without having any other pros I could use to overlook this con. And there are weird LEDs put on the belt and shoulders of this costume? And then there are shoulder pads for some reason? Like why? And the worst part about this costume? It's not even fucking real! It's entirely CGI! There's no fabric, no seams, no zippers, no face shell, it's all fake! This costume was just another headache for overworked CGI artists to slave over. Thousands of dollars wasted on a fake CGI costume. But if you just ripped the costume, the one from the comics, you could have made it real because of how simple it is, instead of overworking your CGI department and wasting money every time this suit has to be on screen. So let's backtrack here. Marvel not only went with a piss-poor costume that steps over all the design choices the original had and did so much better, they went back with a costume so unrealistic that making it was out of the question, so in consequence of their bad choice, CGI artists were overworked, their costume department was underutilized, and they wasted loads and loads of money in the process. See, this is exactly why Marvel should hire me to do everything, because I'm so smart and I know all the answers the universe beholds and I'm always right and I'm never wrong. It's not like you couldn't make an Iron Spider costume either. I even started making one a while ago. Look at this one by Cavan Creations. If you threw a couple of lines onto this and some fabric variation, it would fit perfectly into the MCU. The point is, is that an accurate Iron Spider can be done. It absolutely could have been done, and it would have been easier for everyone involved, aside from the people in the costume department, to just have the comic version. Let me boil it down this way. The comic Iron Spider has a much simpler pattern and could have been made with relative ease and wouldn't murder the CGI department, and thematically encapsulates what the Iron Spider is supposed to symbolize much more than the MCU version. It also would have worked much better in movies like Homecoming or Far From Home. The MCU version is much harder to make, is way more annoying for the CGI department, and doesn't capture the themes as well as the OG Iron Spider. Not only critically is this costume much worse, it sacrifices a better executed theme and it puts more work onto the CGI department. And it doesn't even look like the original outfit. This is one of the worst adaptations of a comic book costume I've ever covered in this series. Probably the worst. At least the Raimi black suit had a killer look. Even if it was just straight up ripped from the red and blue one. At least that one was fucking real! But the MCU Iron Spider has little redeeming quality. The best part about this costume is that underneath all this bullshit, it's just the classic suit. This costume is one of the biggest examples of the comics beating the source material. Now, do I think comics shouldn't ever be changed? Of course not. I just wish that MCU executives knew when they wouldn't be able to beat the classics. Fuck, I had a burp during that last line. Fuck. No, I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this as the outro, and I'm gonna be playing the outro card over this segment right boys anyway thank you all so much for watching uh i'm probably gonna the the fan submissions video is gonna be after this don't worry i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>